Hello Eurovision friends, thank you so much for coming to my channel Eurovision Histories. Today I want to do another song battle where I take two songs from the Eurovision Song Contest and have them fight it out in rounds looking at different aspects of the song and performance giving a point to the song that I like more or that I think does this aspect better. However, your votes will also come in at the end of this video and will count just as much as mine and actually a little bit more. And you guys already voted for these two songs and so your votes will be very important for this song battle. I also have some of your um, comments at the end of the video. So the first aspect I want to talk about and we can is the staging because we have two national final performances for these two songs. Adam Onda has a beautiful staging that creates a great atmosphere. It's quite dark, whereas Grito is very white and very bright actually as a staging. Ramonda has the flower growing at the end, which adds a bit of color and kind of accentuates the message of the song, which I really like. And Grito has this amazing choreography where the dancers really accentuate both the message of the song in the lyrics, but also the music and what happens musically in the song. And because I love the choreo especially, I gave this point to Grito, which takes an early lead. Second round is the performance, so how does the artist perform? And I have to say that they are both emoting incredibly well. They live the songs that they are performing. And so in the end, it was very hard to decide, to be honest, and I decided not to decide and give one point to each of them. Then for the lyrics, um, Ramonda has beautiful, very meaningful and deep lyrics um, steeped in Serbian culture and history as well. That Ramonda is a flower that revives when you give it water. So it's about going through hard times. It's also the symbol of the armistice of World War I. So it is a song that has a lot of meaning. And I like that. If you know this channel, you know I love songs like that. And Grito, on the other hand, is a bit more personal and a bit more... Um, not as direct also, which Ramonda really isn't all either, but you can have many different interpretations of the lyrics. There are different layers to it, and I love them very, very much as well. And so again, I kind of chickened out and gave a point to both of them because I think the lyrics for both of these songs are just incredible. This is very hard uh, for me because I really like both of these songs. And this part of the video, by the way, is my personal subjective opinion. So... Um, don't get too worked up about it now. For the voice, I mean, again, uh, Theodora's voice has incredible depth to it, emotional. It is a bit nasal at par in parts. It is whispery in parts, but then very strong in others. And Yolanda is incredible as well as a performer. And the Grito itself is just what makes this song stand out so much. It gives me goosebumps every single time. And so um, I decided to give this point to Yolanda because it just touches me more. And the nasal parts in Theodora's performance are personally not my thing, but I know that a lot of people like them, of course. Now, round number five is the song. And as that's the most important package, I have under sub rounds, under rounds, sub rounds for this. Now, next up, I want to talk about melody and hook. When we talk about the hook, I think Ramonda is a bit catchier with the Lila Ramonda, Lila Ramonda. I have that stuck in my head from time to time, and it is repeated a lot, so that helps it get stuck in my head. But Grito also has the Ainda, the Ainda. But um, when it comes to catchiness, I think Ramonda takes it. However, the melody in Grito is also beautiful. The instrumentation is just wonderful. And what I like about it is this uh, lullaby quality to it, where it goes back and forth and back and forth and kind of coziness in a way, creates a feeling of coziness. It's hard to describe what I feel with this song, but I do love it. And so in the end, again, I gave a point to both of them. Now, when we talk about the structure, I think Ramonda has a typical ballad structure in a way, but Grito really switches it up from time to time. There are parts where it's more intense and it all builds towards the Grito, the scream, which the song is called, of course, and which is the emotional highlight of the whole song. And just this, and also the a cappella part at the beginning adds a lot to it. And so in the end, for me, um, structure-wise, Grito takes the cake in this case. 
Now, when we talk about originality, I think they're both original in the way that they use the lyrics, in the way that they are in national languages, which I love. And I forgot to say that, but Portugal and Serbia are some of my pet countries in Eurovision because they always do their thing and send something in their own language, which is what I watch Eurovision for, which I like Eurovision for. I also like the English mainstream pop songs, but this kind of adds something that you don't usually hear on the radio, and I love that. Um, but as songs, they are ballads. They aren't that out there, not experimental. But in the end, I decided to give one to both because I can't really say that one is more original than the other. And then the goal or the purpose of the song, both of them want to send a message. Both of them want to make you feel something, I think. And for me, the one that reaches this bit a little bit better is Grito. I do think that Ramonda is a beautiful song. It creates an atmosphere, but it doesn't hit me with my emotions as much as Grito does. So that's why Grito got that point. And Airplay is just how which song I listen to more. And this is definitely, uh, there it is, Grito. Because, yeah, I don't know. It just hits me differently. And Ramonda, I need to see the performance in a way. It's more of an experience and it has to be visual and audio for me but grito i can listen to i can watch and it's great either way ramanda too as i've said but um yeah grito is a bit better to me but and it looks a bit more slanted than i thought actually i thought i liked them both kind of equally but i do like grito just a little bit more but now we're adding your votes from the community tab of my channel so anything can happen now here you see how you voted. 37% of you gave their points to Yolanda or their vote to Yolanda and 63% gave their vote to Tiadora, which means four points for Yolanda and six points for Tiadora. And if we add that, you see that Grito wins this song battle, mostly because of me. If it were up to you, Tiadora would have won with uh, 13 points while Ramonda gets 10 points. So again, this is mostly because of me, you would have chosen Ramonda over Grito. Now, I also have some of your comments. Uh, Rachel Laurent or Rachel Laurent, I don't know. Honestly, this is one of the hardest battles, but Ramonda is just so soothing to me. Both of these are in my top 10 anyway. Stonebrook83 says Sophie's choice, but I voted for Grito. Portugal and Serbia are both in my top three, though. That is a Sophie's choice in the end. Heidi Barnes says, I absolutely adore both, but Grito has such a cinematic quality that I just can't resist. Cinematic is also a great word to describe both of the songs, actually. Miriam says, Ramonda is so much better. The song is not just a ballad. It is full of emotions and hope. Even people that don't understand Serbian will feel something. I agree with that. Serbia is in my top three, says Dominic, and Portugal is in my top eight, so I love both. If pressed, I would have to go with Serbia, but I will vote for both in the semi. Thank you for doing that. And then Benun says, you got me into it, Grito. Yes, I've been talking about my love for Grito for quite a while, and I'm happy I convinced you. And then ESC fan channel number 11037, I love this name says, I feel like Grito has the better staging. Every move from the choreography feels specifically thought out to underline apart from the music. I completely agree with that. And thank you for sharing that comment. Ramonda, however, is just a more mesmerizing and beautiful song for me. So you are as split as I am in a way about these two songs. A lot of you like one more or the other more, but a lot of you like both and that's great. Thank you for watching the song battle. Um, come back to my channel. I'll do more. I'll do the Nordic battle of all the Nordic songs very soon. So do come back. I hope to see you in my next video. See you then and bye bye.